The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. Now you're going to hear about a couple of growth and income stocks that are making big strides on the earnings front with Brian Hamilton, who is the editor of our Income Investor Service here at Zach's. You've got uh, two interesting companies that have been making news lately, Caterpillar and Air Products. Yeah, uh, Caterpillar recently came out with two really important reports. Uh, early in January, they came out with their December sales. Now, if uh, viewers remember, we've talked about Caterpillar a couple of times and how amazing their sales were in October and November. Mm -hmm. Well, December's came in even better than expected. And it wasn't just one segment or a sub-segment. It was all their segments. And I want to show you on the PowerPoint here real quick just how well it was across the board for them. Uh, December retail machine sales were up 34%. This is above the 26% increase we saw in November. Asia Pacific, up 50%. Uh, Europe, Africa, and the Middle East was up 37%. After a 32% gain in November, Latin America up 55%, and North America was 23%. Now, as we said, it wasn't one segment. Their energy and transportation sales rose by 19%, uh, with transportation up 10, oil and gas up 35, industrial sales were up 21%, power and generation sales were up 1%. Now, it's a smaller segment of the company, but it's still showing growth. But everything else, those are some big numbers. Oh, they're fantastic, but it was construction is where they really hit it out of the park. Their December three-month uh, average construction sales were up 31%, Asia Pacific, 53%. Uh, Europe, Africa, and the Middle East up 23%. Latin America up 37%. North America up 24%. Now, these, some of these were records in consecutive months as well. Now, this was just absolutely impressive. Now, mm. then they come out with their uh, Q4 earnings report where they crushed the Zacks Consensus earnings and revenue estimates. Now, this caused management to increase EPS guidance for fiscal year 2018. Now, as we saw in these slides, it wasn't just one segment. They saw growth across the board. Um, and now analysts love when you increase guidance. So if we look, take a look at their uh, detailed estimates page here, we can see after the last 30 days, we've had the next quarter. I mean, these are huge improvements. Next, next year, this year, from $7.79 to $9.09. .09. We have another almost $2 increase for 2019 as well. Now, the company also pays a solid 1.9% annual dividend. So we have this awesome growth story for the uh, company, and they're going to pay us a solid dividend as well. There you go. Yep. You got it all working for you. Oh, yes, they do. What about Air Products? Now, Air Products also recently reported earnings where they easily beat both the Zach's consensus earnings and revenue estimates. They saw growth in revenues, volumes, and pricing. Now, like Caterpillar, it wasn't one segment or a sub-segment. I'm going to show you here on this PowerPoint slide. As you can see, air products saw industrial gases in America were up, sales were up 5%. Now, this is due to some higher volumes and an increase of hydrogen demand across the board. Now, this is showing from the growing domestic economy with the manufacturing, this ties in a you know, high correlation with the North American sales. Now, in Europe, uh, the Middle East and Africa, sales were up 29% and volumes were up 17%. Now, this, they just recently put online a new hydrogen plant in India, which is going to help grow, uh, see sales growth for the next several quarters out as well. Now, Asia was the big one. Uh, sales were up 47%, and they also, at the same time with the increase in sales, increased their prices by 7%. Now, the company also has some new plants coming online and some agreements, and these are in China, Korea, and India, so they're helping their uh, international growth as well, and they're also seeing an improvement in their overall merchant business. This caused uh, management to not only increase next quarter's EPS guidance, but they increased fiscal year 2018 EPS guidance as well. Now, they also pay us a really solid 2.26% annual dividend, but there's also two other key things that are going to impact both of these companies and the segment as a, a, at large. Uh, the president's recent State of the Union address, he recently uh, he talked about his infrastructure plans to be over a trillion dollars for 10 years, so this is going to be a nice long-term domestic growth for uh, both these companies, If obviously, if Congress can agree on some things and, and pass it. Mm -hmm. And the other one was this morning's ISM uh, manufacturing report, which came in at 59.1. Now, this is two-tenths below what we saw last month, but we saw the continued surge in new orders, uh, factories orders, and a really strong uh, backlog as well. So this is going to be really positive for the sector as a whole, and specifically Caterpillar and Air Products. And they both currently carry uh, Zach's rank number one strong buy as well. 
All right, and this morning is February the 1st. Yep. Do you own these? Uh, I personally do not, but they are both members of the Income Investor Portfolio. Sounds good. Don't forget, always more information on these two companies as well as many others on our website, zax.com. Get on over to the homepage to begin to check it all out. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.